Well, today I'm back on the Isle of Anglesey uh, at a place called Anasati Vidil or something like that. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'll leave the name here. Yeah, I'm on a collaboration today with another local landscape photographer and YouTube, David Griffith. And a lot of people keep asking, have you two ever done anything together? No, we never had the chance to, but today we're up here doing a vlog together. So yeah, he's brought me up here. I've got to say, it looks pretty amazing. There's going to be compositions everywhere. Just right behind me, look at the, this fantastic arch here. So yeah, beautiful. Uh, plus over there, you've got the Skerry's Lighthouse. At the moment, you've got some nice light hitting the rocks over there. So uh, I'm just going to take a walk around, take it in and then see what I can find. But it looks beautiful. Right, at the moment, uh, I'm looking for a... Looking at this behind me, I'm thinking of a portrait uh, for this image. There's a lot of uh, nice colours on these rocks here in the foreground. Uh, maybe just a bit too much rocks uh, looks pretty busy. So what I'm going to try and do is go pretty low to the floor, just so that I could use, reduce the uh, boulder field here of... Uh, there's so many rocks with different colours, so I'm, I might actually go low, use the seaweed as the foreground here, uh, but yeah, I want to capture this beautiful rock face here, it's nice and dark black on the edge here, I want to try and, right at the tops there you've got some nice green moss, so yeah, I'm going to stick a polarizer in this, truly really try and get the uh, colours out of this, and I also want to wait for some water to come through the, uh, through the hole there if possible. So yeah, I'm going to try and look for a composition, uh, probably try and go low down just to somehow reduce this boulder field here and probably shooting portrait. Might also do a landscape on this as well, just because I can get the skerries at the edge of the frame, but I'll probably go on a longer lens if possible to get something out of that anyway. But this would be uh, really beautiful during a sunset. So uh, if we're around that long, uh, who knows? Right, with this shot, uh, what I've got here in the foreground, I've used this little boulder here, which looks nice. Uh, the rocks are like a leading line coming in here. You've got the seaweed on it uh, and a bit of green moss. Got a nice pool here with different coloured rocks at the bottom. Um, so yeah, that leading line just takes you right to this sort of cliff edge where it's dark a lot of darkness and the arch just comes over there. I'm trying to wait for some light to, um, waves to come crashing in. Uh, so yeah, I've got some nice light over here now. So yeah, what I've done by going low, I'm reducing this sort of boulder field uh, from being a, a bit of a mess. So I've also got a 0.6 soft grad on an angle there just to uh, make the, dark, the, the uh, clouds a bit more darker. But yeah, I think this will uh, definitely make a nice shot. Yeah, so I've been uh, messing about trying different uh, shots. Uh, I've put the long lens, I've tried to put the long lens through the arch. Uh, I've been trying to wait for the waves to come crashing in. Very tricky, very difficult. It seems to, when I'm waiting for the shot, the sort of waves die down. Um, I've also tried to uh, use the rocks on the edge here and s sort of see the lighthouse in between the rock, jaggedy rocks there. I don't know, just trying to uh, different things out really. Uh, yeah, a lot of interesting colour here on the rocks, especially when the sun comes out, really uh, pick up the colour on these. So I'm just going to carry on and uh, see what I can find.
Right then, if there's a scratch on the lens, uh, that's just because I've dropped it again and it's hit the rocks because uh, it's blowing a hoolie here on this beach so it's hard to try and find somewhere to vlog uh, consistently with this wind. So uh, I've shot over here now with the lighthouse. Uh, I've got as much as I can within this light anyway. It's the middle of the afternoon. Uh, just behind me here I've gone down here set up on the darker rocks at the bottom there and try to wait for the light to come on to, to, the, hit, to hit the hillside over there so hopefully got something all right over there so yeah um, and if it's any good I'll stick that image up now So there could be an interesting shot here along this wall. Uh, just behind me here, you can see like an S curve on the wall that takes your eye right out into the woods. Uh, I like the trees here at the top there. Uh, very interesting. Uh, got a lot of light on them, which uh, making it, the, the sun's out here now, so I'm gonna have it there for a while. I like the uh, light that's hitting the wall here. You've got the lake coming out on the other side of the wall, which is making it interesting. Um, yeah, and you've got these sort of, I don't know, sort of grass sticking out of the lake, so it's a very shallow lake, pond, pool, whatever it is. So there could be a nice shot here, whether I go vertical or landscape, I'm not too sure yet, but um, I'm going to set up here and see which, which one works the best here. But yeah, I like the ES curve on this wall, it's quite interesting. So what I've gone and done with this shot is I put the camera quite high because I'd like to be, uh, I want to sort of look down on the wall. And what I've got in this shot, I've got this wall, like the S-curve, and it leads all the way right to the uh, left of the frame uh, and taking your eye up to the woods. You've got some nice dead woods and some red bracken on the left of the frame. Uh, on the other side, you've got the nice lake with the, uh, oh, what you call them? you know the sort of green leaves sticking out of there and the uh, sort of dead trees here with the red bracken on the uh, right of the frame. Uh, I've used a polarizer just to saturate the colors and take the glare off the uh, I call it a lake pond I don't know what it is uh, whatever and to saturate the uh, colors I've got a 0.6 soft grad to bring the uh, sky down a bit yeah
so yeah, so I'm set up here now. Uh, I got a nice view overlooking this rock here. I got some nice rays shining on the sea right in front of, over there. So what I'm doing now is just for the last, uh, just waiting for some light to hit the top, the back of this mountain to uh, really bring out the greens on the hill, and then I'll put that together in the light room in the end. So yeah, it's quite wi really windy up on this hill. Uh, I think this is going to be my last shot for today, I think. So, yeah, uh, with this one, ISO 100 F16 at a 40th of a second. Right, so I've come right down to the, uh, I keep saying lake, but I'm going to call it a lake. Uh, I'm going to do a long exposure here. Um, I'm just waiting for the sun to come out. I could do with uh, some more cloud rolling in here because I'm going to do uh, a long exposure on this. I got a 0.9 soft grad to really darken the sort of clouds when they come over. I've got a 10 stop filter. There's a nice big cloud rolling in here. I just hope to catch the... Uh, sun comes out at the same time um, and that'll be nice I've uh, focused in on these reeds right in the foreground here so yeah you've got some nice reeds sticking out of the water as well uh, I'm going to smooth out all these ripples and uh, yeah, it should look, look quite nice once that big cloud rolls into the shot there uh, so with this where am I I've got a 0.9 soft grad uh, 10 stop filter ISO 100 F16 uh, with a 30 second exposure. So I'm just going to wait now for that cloud to come more center so it can have a nice sort of streak effect when it comes across center of the frame. So uh, that's it for, for this vlog and, and thanks to Dave for uh, showing me around this area, really good. Absolutely fabulous day out, yeah. really enjoyed your company, thank you very much. So I'm uh, definitely thinking about coming in again for a sunset and a wild camp, I think that will uh, be really good. Yeah, thanks ever so much for tuning in, really appreciate you watching. Oh and by the way, if you haven't done it yet, why not subscribe now and join us next time. And also, uh, don't forget to subscribe to me. <laughs>